Puni players, Robert here. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of Budokai. Budokai! It's a new year, and we have a few New Year's surprises. First, there's a New Year's coin with prizes. Everyone gets one New Year's coin, and you can find it in your inbox. Second, there are S and Super S Selecta coins available, which can each be purchased once. These work just like the SS Selecta coins happening with the Nyanbo, but they're cheaper and only contain S ranks. Lastly, there's a Y money sale happening. For the New Year's coin, almost all of the prizes are Y point rewards, as much as 20,000. Additionally, you can get various Noko and Exporbs. Alright, we've got a new Gasha, and Enma SS and Zappadokia are currently raid up. Both of these yokai have special abilities during the event. Let's take a look at the event Gasha contents. Princess Speech's pass is available again, as are the last Bushinyan and Edison passes. And my SS from the movie is here, and for the first time that I can remember, Mebinyan is back from the Hinamatsuri event. There are a lot of good S ranks present, but Zappadokia is the only new one and yokai of note. The original Enma is there as well. After that, there's nothing really. As usual for a Budokai, there are only a few key yokai available via the Gasha. We didn't get a new American Legend Pass, but that's because of the mechanics of this Budokai. More on that later. The super powerful SSS rank Darkness Enma is here. In order to get Darkness Enma, you need to fuse Enma SS from the movie with Snake King Kyra. Kyra is a random encounter during the Budokai that you'll need to defeat and befriend. While fighting Kyra, he will counterattack and Sultimate Drain, so using Event Yokai can help. Amaterasu provides a defense bonus against Kyra, and Enma SS has a damage bonus. And now, for the Budokai. As in any of the previous Budokais, you need to collect various treasure to reap the rewards. You can gather treasure by defeating enemies in the tournament, or you can steal it from other players. Occasionally during stealing, chance time can occur, which gives a bonus to your stealing team. You'll need Yokodori tickets in order to attempt to steal treasure, and you can get them from the point reward shop by purchasing with real money or they may be occasionally dropped after you complete a round of the tournament. During stealing mode, Zappadokia provides a large bonus and has a high chance to come into effect. Wobble Walk from the last Budokai provides a medium bonus and has a medium chance to come into effect. Gyujiru has a small bonus and a medium chance to come into effect. You earn Y points by defeating enemies in the tournament. There are several exclusive yokai and items available in the point shop for Y points. The higher you progress in the tournament, the more Y points you can earn. You can also purchase Y points with real money. During battles in the tournament, Darkness Enma provides a Y point bonus of 100%. Enma SS provides a Y point bonus of 50%. Darkness Enma, Zappadokia, and Castilius the First all provide a damage bonus during tournament battles. Narcissus Nisei provides a defense bonus during tournament battles. There's a leaderboard for the tournament based on how many rounds you complete, and you can earn Darkness Enma for one of the top spots along with other rewards. The big yokai additions are Darkness Enma, Kyra, Enma SS, and Amaterasu. We already talked about how to get Darkness Enma, Kyra, and Enma SS. Amaterasu, Narcissus Nisei, and Castilius I are all available as Budokai rewards. Dragon, Kyujiru, and Kakusan are available via the point shop. It's time to finally settle into the Budokai proper. For those of you new to Budokai, it's a tournament whose difficulty increases with each round. Each round has a series of battles and in order to progress you need to defeat the enemy of each battle. If you fail, the round will start over. The only penalty for not finishing a round is that you won't move up the leaderboard and you won't receive end of round prizes. Each time you defeat an enemy there's a chance they'll drop a piece of treasure. 
In addition to the battles, there's stealing available where you can take other people's treasure and they can take yours. Now, this is super important. This screen determines if you're in stealing mode or not. Click the green button on the right. That's not stealing mode. You can always change to stealing mode later, but once you're in stealing mode, you can't change back. The only benefit to stealing mode, other than being able to steal, is that you earn more Y points per battle. Before we get to the battling and treasure and stealing, however, let's blow a ton of Y points in the Gasha to try and get those new yokai. My first 10 cranks, all A and B ranks. Horrible. The next 10 at least provide two S ranks, but still nothing we're looking for. The next 20 are more A and B ranks. I finally get an SS rank in the next 10 crank, but it's Kabuki Roid who I've already maxed. Tons of gold capsules on this next one, and actually 4 S ranks, but still nothing. This happens sometimes, you get lucky or unlucky, nothing you can do about it. We're 60 cranks down, but I've got a good feeling about this next 10 crank. Not only do I get an Edison book, not only a princess speech pass, but this last capsule is shaking, so it's a new one. There he is, Enma SS from the movie, 30 years in the future. Enma is an Enma Tribe SS rank all attacker whose skill makes linking easier. During the tournament he has a damage bonus against Kyra and a bonus to Y points. Gotta keep going and we've got another two gold capsules filled with possibility on this 10 crank. The first one starts to shake. Out comes Zappadokia. Zappadokia is a tough S rank all attacker. During the tournament he gives a large bonus during stealing and does more damage during tournament battles. Those are the two we needed so it's time to stop cranking. Almost. I've got that new year's coin so might as well crank it now. The top prize is 20,000 Y points. And... 15 Y points. Dang, that stinks. Moving on. The meat of the Budokai is in battle after battle. Just like the maps and other events, the goal is to knock out the opposing enemy. They start off pretty easy and slowly get harder. There are five battles in every tournament round. If you beat all of those, you'll get a reward and another round starts. Each time the round increments, it will become a little more difficult, and likely you'll get a little more Y points. During the first round, you'll only get a single Y point per battle, irrespective of score and other factors. By the 50th round of the tournament, that will raise to 7 Y points per battle, unless you're in stealing mode, where it's 15 Y points per battle. After the 50th round, there's no increase in difficulty, Y points, or anything else. The rounds keep counting up, but it's effectively like playing the 50th round over and over. For now, the main thing is getting drops of the Budokai treasure for our first reward, which is Castilius the first. It's not until my fourth battle that I get my first drop. Each reward in the Budokai has eight treasure seals. All of the items are the same, but they're one of eight colors. The drops are random both in timing and in color. It is completely possible to get duplicates and more of a single or multiple colors. Given that this is the first reward level, the drop should be reasonably frequent. As you go for the higher levels, the drops will be less frequent, requiring more battling. Of course, there's a luck element as you hope for more unique colors to drop than duplicates, but you get what you get. It's right away after my next battle that I get my second treasure item, a new color, so now I've got two of eight. That was my fifth battle, so I've completed a round of the tournament, and I've received some Y points and an X-Borb. You can get a lot better stuff, but it increases with the tournament round, and is also very much luck-based. Since we've explored the basic mechanics of the battles, I'm going to skip to just the points where I get new treasure. I get my third treasure seal at the end of my second round, and that's when Kyra shows up for the first time. 
You'll get a prompt asking if you want to battle him or not, but unless you know you can't beat him and you want to save the spirit, there's really no reason not to try. Whisper's scared out of his mind, but that's just his thing. We've totally got this. Kyra is a random encounter after a tournament round completes and is a tribe-restricted battle to tough, charming, shady, and Enma tribes. It is a no-continue stage and he has 81,000 hit points with 581 attack. Luckily I've got one belly buster curry to feed him, but I'm going to need to buy more. It's worth noting that even though he's got amazing stats, Kyra is an SS rank where normally we'd be fighting an SSS rank. He's pretty difficult, but you've got more options available to you to fight him even without having a vent yokai than you would have in previous Budokai. In my case, I've chosen two boosters with Anihori Mogozo also providing a defense boost, as well as Enma Awoken, the new Enma SSS, and Akala. You can see that Kyra is constantly Sultimate draining me, so my goal is to get one of my boosters in Akala to have a big puny so that I can pop them only once I get into Fever. Unfortunately, I've failed miserably and I don't have them available in Fever, so I restart the battle. This is a helpful tool given he's a random encounter. So long as you aren't defeated, you can restart the battle and try again. Unfortunately, that means I don't have any 4 heart curry, but we'll do with what we have. I'm trying more of the same here, but with Enma SS, Enma Woken, and Moguzo all looking relatively similar, I'm just being too slow. Let's try again. More curry, and this time we're just going to go for it. I also seem to have a better board with plenty of Pink Emperor and Aqua, so it's setting up nicely. Although he hits for 581 damage without the event defense boost from Amaterasu, getting into Fever shouldn't be too much of an issue with a solid team. Once you're in Fever, Kyra's counterattack changes. Instead of Sultimate draining with attack, he counterattacks when you use a Sultimate. It's a pretty rough 800 damage, so you really want to limit the number of Sultimates you use. I get off my Pink Emperor, and then it's time to pop Akala and use his Sultimate. Combine the two do 100,000 damage, which is more than enough. No luck on the befriending, but I think that's largely down to the three heart food. Always, always use four heart food when it matters. I get a few more treasure seals, three in fact, with two being new, so I'm fairly encouraged at this point. Kyra's back, so it's time to work on him again. I've gone to the store and picked up a mountain of curry, so it's just a question as to whether he'll befriend or not. I use the same technique, trying to do only the minimum number of sultimates as possible, and it works. That's a two battles, one befriending, double drop supreme. Kyra is an Enma tribe SS rank single attacker with heal. His skill is that his puny have a higher chance of appearing on the board. Now that we have Kyra and Enma, we can fuse them together. Unfortunately, this means that all of the soul secrets and exporbs I used making Enma strong for the battle will disappear once he's fused, but sometimes you have to suffer for SSS ranks. Speaking of which, if you do have Enma SS and max him out, he can easily one-shot Kyra despite being an all-attacker. Darkness Enma is an Enma tribe SSS rank slasher. His skill fills his ultimate gauge when your team takes damage, and he gives a large damage bonus during the tournament. Although Kyra is easier to beat and befriend than past Budokai SSS ranks, the bummer is now that I've fused Kyra and Enma, I need to get them both again if I want to be able to use them. C'est la vie. We're back on the hunt for Castilius' treasure seals, and it's at the conclusion of round 21 when I find myself face to face with Kyra again, and he drops the needed item. The reason it took so many rounds is purely from duplicates. 21 of them, on top of the 8 needed. Castilius I is a tough, A-rank center popper. During the event, he does more damage to enemies in the tournament battle. Now that we have Castilius, it's time to do that all again with harder battles and less frequent drops. Strangely, I actually have a better time of it and through 20 rounds of the tournament while I get 22 drops, only 14 of them are duplicates. The second reward is... 
a soul secret. I, honestly, I am just baffled. It's always a yokai. It could have been a double soul secret, a skill secret, something. Moving on. Next up is Narciss Nisei and his hand mirrors. At this point in the tournament, approaching and passing around 50, you'll find some pretty nasty variations of bosses. They can often be more difficult than when you face them during an event or on a map. The main thing is that tribe restrictions are going to come into play a lot. From what I've been able to record during this tournament, there are 15 unique combinations of tribe restrictions that are used. The only tribe that can be used in all of them is Tough. If you have an awesome group of tough yokai and don't want to fiddle with your tribe between battles, that's the group to go with. For me, I have a core group of Enma tribe, including the new Enma SS and Darkness Enma for their Y point bonuses. The others are attackers, as all Enma are, because it's all about defeating these enemies. Unless you need the Y money, since the Y points are fixed, just knock them out. It's a full 30 rounds and 26 items to fill out all of Narciss Nisei's seals. That's 18 duplicates. All in all, not bad. Narciss Nisei is an eerie S-rank attack booster and healer. During the event, he reduces damage from tournament enemies. Now we're getting to the rough stuff. The fourth level is always intense, and this time it's no different. The drops are very infrequent, and in fact, in 128 rounds, I managed 12 treasure items, 5 of which are unique colors. Believe it or not, that's actually much higher than I had last Budokai, but still seriously short of the goal. It's time to go into stealing mode. I've said it before, sooner or later we all go Yokodori, and my time is now. I've got 24 Yokodori tickets earned from the tournament, and thanks to the New Year's Nyanbo Selecta Coins, I bought Enma Awoken and I've assembled the end-all be-all Enma team that I think can win the tournament. I've also assembled a host of other teams based on various tribes in case of emergency. I'm frantically looking around and lo and behold another player with the purple crown shows up. There is literally no team I'm afraid of unless they have the chance time bonus, so let's dive in. With my 4 SSS ranks in Enma Awoken, that's almost 27,000 strength for the Yokodori battle. Jaycoon here has almost the same exact team, except he's brought Dark God Enma instead of Akala, and it's going to cost him. The Purple Crown is mine. Budokai. I look around for a long time, a really long time, but I simply can't find anyone with either of the two remaining treasure items I need. I happen upon another player with a light blue crown and I go for it in case someone steals mine. I'm using my OP Enma team and... Rusia here is using the exact same team, just in a slightly different arrangement. That doesn't matter though, we literally have exactly the same strength, something that's never happened to me in Budokai before, but helps me feel even more confident that I'm using the best team. I try some of my emergency teams, and actually do find a player or two, but lose to them. I also find another player with the exact same team, and tie again. Finally I find a player with the dark blue crown. This time he's got the same team, and Akala, but he doesn't have Darkness Enma, and again chooses to go with Dark God Enma instead. That means I'm 49 points up this time, almost two tenths of a difference, and I'm going to claim my second victory. That's the Dark Blue Crown, only one more to go. Budokai! I search for almost an hour with no luck finding a player in the range of my chosen team with the pink crown, so I go back to grinding the tournament. The key is that I'm only using my OP Enma team for battles. If I run up against tribe restrictions that don't allow Enma, I reset the round. I don't want anything to make it so that I can be stolen from, and yet one of my yellow crowns is gone. Someone beat me during their chance time. No worry though, I've got a spare yellow, and while I'm fighting against Kakusan, the most amazing thing happens. He drops a pink crown. The one item I need. The odds of that happening have to be spectacularly low. 
So long as someone hasn't stolen one of my items while I've been battling, we're all done and good to go. Indeed, they're all intact. Amaterasu, here we come. The Shinto deity Amaterasu is a charming SS rank defense booster and healer. Her skill fills her ultimate gauge faster the bigger puny of hers are popped. She has a bonus to reduce damage during the Kyra battle. Before we go, we need to check out the point store. In addition to exclusive yokai, you've also got soul secrets, coins, exporbs, yokodori tickets, and more. Gyu Jiru is a tough A rank single attacker. He gives a small bonus during stealing with a medium chance to take effect. Kakusan is a tough C rank all stunner. Dragon is a slippery B rank popper. That may be it for the Budokai, but there's still the matter of a brand new tracer by the name of Darkness Enma. I've brought him here to the official Wicked Executive testing grounds, and since we know the Enma tribe has no real boosters, I've brought the best of the best from a variety of tribes. Darkness Enma is a slasher, just like Fuku Rokuju or Enma Blade, but perhaps a little more powerful. He uses his Agado to slash as you flick the board. That's a total of 652,000 damage, or 37 million score. Not bad at all. That's a return of 4,000 line money if you're into that sort of thing. If you want big numbers though, we might as well hit up the Budokai since he's got a damage bonus there. Looks like it's around a 50% bonus, and that means 973,000 damage, 56 million score, but only 2,700 line money. Looks like they nerfed the event money. Sigh. That was a big one. I hope you enjoyed the video. For all the latest info on Puni Puni and Wibble Wobble, the instant it's available, subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitter. Until the next video, keep an eye out for treasure drops.